Hi everyone, so I'm not actually vlogging today, however, I would just literally sat on the sofa, I've got sort of a free day, I did all my editing and stuff that I needed to get done, literally last night and this morning, so I forgot like a free evening, but I wasn't gonna vlog, and then I just got a call from a guy, I didn't know who it was, so I answered the phone like, hello, because one time Saf leaked my number, and I was getting calls and calls and calls, and me answering the phone being like, hi, everyone knew it was me, so I answered the phone and I was like, hello, and this guy was like, hello, is this Barry, and I was like, uh, yes it is, he was like, hi, I'm from Dior, I'm just, um, I've got you an order, like, I'm delivering you a parcel from Dior, and I was like, oh, Okay. I was sort of expecting it. I got an email from him saying they wanted to send me a gift, but I don't know what it is. And now that the guy is delivering it, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to vlog it. It's really exciting. I'm so excited. Obviously, love Dior as a brand. Uh, I also love the guys that work there as well. So when I got the message, I was like, oh my god, yeah, of course, send me a fucking gift. Like, why not? So it's arriving today. A little surprise for a nice chilled evening. So I thought I'd pick up my camera and just, you know, vlog the experience. This is where it's a big prank and I walk outside and the guy takes me into a van um, and kidnaps me. So we'll see. Now I'm a little bit spooked. It's a small little box. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I look awful in this lighting as well, but we're just gonna roll a bit, you know, we're just gonna just gonna go for it. Dearest Barry, we look forward to working with you more closely with love, Emmanuel and Davina. I wonder what this is. This is so fancy. Oh my god, I was literally gonna order one of these. That is so weird. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like a pocket neckerchief thing. Oh, or a bandana, you know, if you're me. That's oh my god, no, I was going to order one of these. I keep seeing boys wearing the, it's under a hat. I thought for a photo it would be cool. That is really, really nice, actually. I'm like a maiden in distress. Ooh, I might fuck around and have a tea in my Starbucks cup. So do I. <laughs> Why do I look like this? It took too long, it took too long, it took too long for you to come back But normally I would just forget that Except for the fact it was my birthday My stupid birthday Alright That's what I'd be like if we were on Big Brother 365 in the Big Brother house Oh well, guys, look how lovely and tidy my room is. I love it. It's amazing. I tidy it every day and it gets like this. Yeah. Right, I'm doing a giveaway. If you would like a comment on my recent Instagram photo um, and swipe up on my Instagram story, you could be in with a chance of winning to come and clean my room. The prize is really good, I know. You might get a hug from me if you're an extra lucky. Okay? Let's see if it's a nice day outside today. Oh yes, lovely rainy. <laughs> lovely rainy, rainy Manchester. I'm gonna hop back into bed and they're gonna watch the Kardashians don't mind if I do darling right it's been a few hours now my room is now a little bit more tidier can't lie I have actually done a little bit of tidying look how tidy oh my bathroom doesn't look that tidy because I just put my contacts in however I'm all dressed and ready now as you can see me and Haz are actually gonna go thrift shopping or we're gonna look around a few thrift shops we went the other day to a couple of vintage stores in the northern quarter so we're gonna have a little head back there have a little look what's happening what's popping you know how it'd be but yeah my room is nice and tidy also I forgot to show you the other day I actually bought this bag Bag, which is a tiny, 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 tiny little bag. Like in comparison to my hand, it's ridiculously small. However, I don't know if I'm gonna get my use out of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trial run it today. I know there's like a 28 day return policy. So I'm gonna trial run it and be a little bit sneaky about it. Um, I might end up returning it. However, I'm gonna try it. You know what I mean? Got a little, have a little see. It's a Saturday. The sun is shining. It's freezing outside actually. I went out this morning and walked to the shop and it's absolutely freezing. So I'm wearing this coat that I actually bought the other day from Top Man. I have I haven't been in Topman and actually bought anything for the longest time. However, I went in the other day, just off a whim, when I actually went to get my contact lenses, I was like 40 minutes early, so I literally was just wandering around the Arndale. I went into Topshop, saw this coat, kind of groovy, kind of fun. But this is how I'd wear the bag. I'll show you in the mirror. This is what the situation is. I don't know if you can actually see. Maybe it's too backlit. But like I said, it's just like a tiny little bag. It's basically a wallet on a bag strap. Now, I don't really carry anything in my bag anyway. I don't know. I love the brand, but also the brand of these bags, you'll see everyone wearing them. It's normally like a thin, dainty leather the strap which has always put me off buying it however they've just literally released a new one with a thick strap so when i saw it in selfridges i was like oh kind of want it so i'm gonna try and run it today anyway and then we'll see but i think it's kind of cool i think it goes with this outfit as well yeah i don't know i just think it's kind of groovy it adds a little bit of salmon salmon to an outfit do you know what i mean so we're gonna see we're gonna see what we think today anyway um and if not maybe i'll just get a photo in it and return it <laughs> Oh 
guys, that was the biggest, fattest fail in the entire world. Um, so we went out, and we went out about half past two, three o'clock. Didn't realise everything closes at six, did I? All the shops close at six on a Saturday. So we literally, we went straight to ZZ's as we arrived. And by the time we came out of ZZ's, I don't know why the food took forever to come. So forever to eat, then it just all took forever. By the time we actually got out, it was like half past five. So we literally went in one shop. I picked up a pair of Dickies from this lovely little charity vintage shop. It's actually called Blue Rinse. Very fun, very fresh. It's all really affordably priced in there as well. Like I got this pair of Dickies for £28. Um, normally Dickies are like £55 to buy and then obviously in charity shops people literally sell them for like £45. Little moment there with these trousers. Got a bargain and yeah, we didn't go anywhere else. So that's fun. I actually went in Blue Rinse the other day and actually picked up some trousers the exact same colour. Just not Dickies because I wanted some trousers this colour for a while. However, they're too small. So, love that for me. Gonna have to pop those on Depop. Anyway, I took my contact lens out. My eyes are so unbelievably dry. Don't know what the fuck's going off there. But we've come back. We've just put a movie on. I went to film today and I haven't, so I'm gonna have to get up tomorrow and actually film a video. But right now, just watching Coraline on the TV. Gonna have a lovely chill evening. Um. Just hold there for one second, please, darling. Oh my god, why do I look like this? I look like... I don't know what I look like, but I look like something. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do you know the woman from Cat in the Hat? The one that babysits... I'm gonna say Cindy and Ralph, but it's definitely not Cindy and Ralph. Mr. Humber of Lube, Sally and Comrade. I look like the nanny that falls asleep on the sofa and thing one and thing two use her as um, a surfboard. I just fell asleep watching TV. I actually put Coraline on and fell asleep watching it. But I could hear it. Do you know, like I was dreaming about watching Coraline, but I were actually asleep. Anyway, point, pointless. Pointless information right there that I'm giving you. I now am gonna... I'm making a brave decision, guys. I am making a brave decision. Obviously, I wore this bag out today. As you will know. Example A, right here. Beautiful, beautiful bag. I love it. I think it's the cutest thing in the entire world. However... Practicality, not that practical. It is kind of expensive for what it is. I mean, it's not kind of expensive. It is expensive for what it is. And also, I have been wanting a chair. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. If you don't, then what the fuck are you doing? But if you do, then you know my obsession with chairs. It's really weird. I want a really cool chair to sit here. So like, imagine I push this picture along and have a really cool chair there. I think that I just actually complete my room and kind of like a little piece of me that's missing. So the chair that I want and have seen looks like a pipe cleaner. I'll insert a photo of said chair here however i am still waiting for applications from sugar daddies to be accepted i'm still trying to find financial security and it's not yet happened so i think what i want to do is the bag is more expensive than the chair so i would rather have the chair and also the bag is more expensive than the really beautiful mirror that flossie has in her bedroom and i would rather have the mirror or the chair i would like all three however we've got to make compromise somewhere so i'm thinking i return the bag i either buy the mirror or the chair or none and i have more money in my bank so I think I'm gonna return it. But before I return it, I just wanna get a cute Instagram photo. I have cute outfits that I wanna wear with it. The trousers that I bought today are like a really similar shade to the the this thing. You see what I'm saying? Like you see my vision. Are you feeling what I'm putting down? Are you picking up what I'm putting down or not? Or am I just talking to a camera to myself? I I'm gonna take an Instagram photo in my room. It is now dark. I'm kind of hating that it's now dark early. However, it is also like oh half past nine, so it would be dark anyway. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up some lights, <laughs> lens camera action, baby girl, and I'm just gonna take some photos in this bag, and then I'm gonna return it tomorrow because that is how exciting my life is. That is how riveting my days are going. Um, if you're wondering what I do in my spare time it's this so yes i do get up dressed and ready every single morning put on shoes and a full outfit to do nothing but stay in the house right this is what i'm thinking i'm thinking i bought this oh it's in my wardrobe <laughs> i tied it in a way i bought this the other day from urban outfitters a nice cute little fun like jesus ass looking vest i'm thinking that with a white shirt underneath however the issue is i don't own a white shirt like i own a white shirt but not like an actual white shirt like a short sleeve shirt and i'm thinking a long sleeve also if this is on my vlog channel hi you will not know i in fact I did slip my own eyebrow. Kind of liking it. Kind of think it's kind of cool. Fun. Kind of think it's kind of cool. I can't lie. Um, shirt, shirt, shirt. A white shirt. I do in fact own a white shirt, but it's not long sleeve. I feel like the full effects would have to be a long sleeve shirt, but we have a short sleeve one. So we're gonna try this on. Um, I'm liking these tones. I'm liking this color palette. However, probably not gonna look like this on my body. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a little cheeky, little cheeky, cheeky. Let's get a little chink and chink, guy. Eh? Mm, I don't know, actually. Ooh, I'm kind of liking this combo. I love these trousers. This is slightly too big. So these are the trousers that I picked up today. Um, 
um, like I said, I've been looking for some everywhere. And I know I could just go on the Dickies website and buy some. However, I just really like things that have been worn by other people. Like, I love the feeling of knowing someone's, like, probably shorted in these trousers. Uh, I'm kidding. I just like how material looks when it's been worn. Like, I hate when something's super, like, stiff and, like... <laughs> And also, like, kind of saving the planet, you know? Gotta be more ethical. Gotta be more wise about my purchases. Ooh, guys, look what I got. I got a little car freshener for the car that I do not have. And also, guys, look what I got. Another little car freshener for the car that I do not have. And also, guys, look what I got. A car freshener for the car that I do not have. And also, guys, look what I got. Some car spray for the car that I do not have. You're probably wondering, like, how I'm doing mentally. And I would say quite well. <laughs> I need a bell. I, I, I... I... Where the fuck is my belt, sir? Like, I know I have an obey belt that I'm literally needing right now. Like, desperate times call for this belt. I don't know, I don't know where the fuck it is. This is... The outfit. Now I don't hate it. It's very like, I feel like it's very like schoolboy. Like I feel like a little rich boy, um, which I definitely am not. Like I feel like I go to private school. Like, hi, nice to meet you. I'm Edward. Mummy has a Shetland pony. Daddy works in accountancy. Yes, that's right. I'm a wanker. Well, you know, that's not the energy I'm trying to provide. Oh, it could be quite cool if I put it with some converse on. It could be quite cool. It could be quite cool indeed. Can someone please let me know? Also, this is my new set. I just brought this sofa in here. Um, it's not a sofa. I don't know what the fuck this is. Um, an armchair. Just brought it in here. Kind of, kind of expensive. Like we just literally got it delivered. Um, no, it actually came with a flat. <laughs> um, can someone please let me know if this outfit is, in fact, the vibe. A vibe, as the kid would say kid, as the one singular child would say, is that a vibe? I walked into the kitchen and I said, has ignore my outfit, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I just thought, oh, I think that's my favourite thing you've ever worn. And I just looked at myself and thought, wow, I don't know if it's a compliment or not. I just feel like it's very not very me. Like, if I saw someone wearing this, I'd think, oh my god, fun. But seeing me wear it, I think, oh my god, like, you stay behind after class and get extra tuition. Now that's a bad thing, but like... Jokes! <laughs> I really don't know if this is me. You can't even see me. Like I'm like one of those Tom and Jerry characters where you just see the top of the head. Um, but yeah, don't know if this is a vibe or not. What do you think? Let me know down below. These boys ain't shit. I'm not here for it. I need to sort my hair out. So three, two, one. Right, I just, um, oh, I didn't do the transition. What transition did I do? What did I do? Yeah, it's not as effective when it's a right? Anyway, so I'm all dressed and ready, you know, in the outfit of choice. I've got my little bag down there. So I'm going to be taking the photo. I obviously bought these trousers today. Let's play a game of comment when you see what I'm talking about. So, obviously bought this today. Ready to take an outfit photo. All fun and games. All fun and games. Just let me know when you see it. Um, let me know when you see my dick. Because that's probably an, a, a, a possibility at this point. Yeah, there's a massive fucking hole in these trousers. And I didn't realise until right now. So... At least I can just piss on the floor. But you know what? We're not gonna let it get to us. To be fair, no one's ever gonna see that. Like, I'll just have to... Oh god, I need to be careful. This is gonna be like a dick slip if I'm in public. I could actually just have my penis hanging out there. But we're not gonna do that! You know, we're not gonna do that. So I think I'm gonna have to stitch it up or something. Um, that's fun. Anyway, back to the scheduled content. Ooh.